Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very interesting video for you. I scoured the mod lists, trying to find mods that were compatible with the new update 1.15 for Minecraft. And I found 10 of them that work. Most of them work together. And I've ordered them in what I think is uh, best or most useful to uh, worst or pointless, but still fun. But just flip that around, actually, because I'm going to go from 10 to 1. 1 being uh, the coolest mod that I've found that works for 1.15. If you guys like the video throughout, make sure to leave a like on it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button and join the collection that is uh, Bandy subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Let's get into it. All right, before I get into it, I just want to let you guys know that everything I'm talking about today, the link to the mods are going to be in the description. If you want to know how to get the modded client for 1.15, the video I uploaded last, it's called Trolling My Friends uh, with Explosive Bees. At the beginning of that video, I show you how to get 1.15 modded using the Fabric Mod Loader. If you follow those steps, that's basically how you do everything that I did in this video. First mod I'm showing off is everything is a hat. That's right. Everything can be a hat. Hopefully even this egg. As you can see, <laughs> everything, and I mean everything, is a hat. You see this flower here? Well, could that be a hat? Well, let, let's find out. I could have glasses, hat, or cape. I guess, I guess it could only be a hat. And as you can see, the hat shines through gloriously. And literally anything. Anything can be a hat. Sapling. Okay, maybe not. Maybe maybe not a sapling. Oh, yes. It needs to be one. It can't be a stack of things. Only one thing allowed. Even this spruce log right here. Boom. Hat. And if it's an actual block, it'll literally just be your head, which is uh, pretty cool. There is one thing, though, I wanted to check out. Let's hop over to creative mode real quick. B, because you can't just have B. Can I put B as hat? Oh my god, I can have B as hat on B. Thank god. Oh, jolly good day. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Now, all these mods work together, so I'm just gonna be stacking them one on top of each other. So it's about to get real crazy by the end of this video. So stick around. So the next mod is called Eat Book. And I'll just give you like five seconds. Guess what you could do in that mod. Hmm. Let's go grab a book, any kind of book, maybe a couple different ones. And yeah, you guessed it. You can eat books. I really couldn't find a good mod for this part of the video. So, hey, it works. It's in the most current version of Minecraft. <laughs> That's all you get. I'm sorry. The next one's going to be better. I promise. Now, this next mod's called Cow Leather. And it's not what you think because obviously cows, they do produce leather. What this mod does is it allows cows to also poop leather. So you don't need to kill them to collect the leather from them and uh, we have this nice little item called the drop calculator we right click and it'll tell us how close the leather drop is so we have 40 seconds on this cow 16 seconds on this baby let's go i'm ready i've never actually used this mod yet so i'm really curious to see what's gonna happen in nine seconds uh, i wonder if it's like a poop pile i don't know oh my god three seconds three two one Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I thought it was going to be a little bit different than just popping out of the cow, but I mean, who knows? So that that's pretty cool. We can now collect leather from cows without having to harm them. PETA is dream. Very good mod and pretty useful for survival, I would say. On to the next mod, though. Hopefully, we can get a little bit more substance. I mean, this mod was simple and it was fun and cool, but I I'm trying to get into some serious mods. And the next one does have a little bit more, and it's equally as helpful. Actually, no. I say more help. So say we are in survival mode here and uh, just chop down a tree. You know what? I don't want to spend my time climbing up this tree, like trying to make sure I get every little piece of wood so that all the leaves go away. I want my Minecraft world to look pristine. So this mod is called trees don't float and it's pretty self-explanatory. Trees don't float. They knock over when you take the base out of it. So you take the base out right there and it just all falls. And no matter how big the tree is, no matter how small, it will take the whole tree down. And it's awesome. It gives you all the apples, sticks that you would collect, all the saplings too. So uh, just very helpful. And honestly, one of my favorite mods in Minecraft history, because this has been replicated in almost every version of Minecraft, probably the best. It's something that needs to be put into the actual game. Microsoft, Mojang, look at you. You can make it happen. Make it happen. Look at how fun this is. This is so much more fun, at least with an axe. I understand maybe doing block by block with your hand. Uh, I don't even know. Does, does this mod work with your hand? Yes, it does. No, we don't got to go that far. Just with the axe. That's my suggestion. Number six, we have the gravestone mod. And basically what happens 
If you're a little bit silly and you accidentally kill yourself, I'm just gonna kill myself with a command. You get blown up by a creeper, you fall in lava, the worst thing possible. You, you ever die to fall damage? It's embarrassing. And instead of all of your items going everywhere, it drops a little gravestone, as you can see right there. It is dropped. And inside that gravestone is all of my stuff. Only I can break it and collect the items from it. Now I just gotta run back and try to figure out where it is. I think it was this way. Don't quote me. Wait a minute. I made this. Oh, there, there it is. Wow, that was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but as you can see, I'll break it and then I get all my stuff back. So if you do die in lava, all your stuff will be in the gravestone. So I wouldn't break the gravestone if, you know, it's still in lava. But it gives you an opportunity to save all your stuff and it will not disappear. Like I was gonna use that B, thank God. If I didn't have this mod, maybe I would have lost it forever. But you know what? Silver lining, just don't forget where you die. <laughs> or else uh, I, I can't help you, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have died there where, where you didn't know where you were. Like, not my fault. I'm just here to show the mods. On to the next. The next mod's called Kayak, and it doesn't add kayaks. It adds various types of boats, which are actually really good. Another thing that I think Mojang should put in the game. People have tried to do this in practical ways before by combining a minecart and a boat, and it just, it doesn't work. For me, this is what I'm talking about. Hopper boat, anyone want that? Does anyone, no one asked for that? This mod has it though, so it doesn't matter. Jukebox boat. This one's probably my favorite. I don't know why. This is probably the most helpful not gonna lie, right click, boom. That's a hopper, jukebox, disc, let's go. This is why this is the most fun. Yeah, right, exactly. You're on my side about this now. This is amazing. I should have picked the best one. This, this, this song sucks, give me that. How do we stop it? <laughs> we did it, thank God. One thing that's bad about it, you can't put in discs while you're in the boat. Oh, this sets the mood. And look at this, it's so easy. Like you could do this, it, it uses the same model and just puts it in the boat. Like the chest doesn't even open. Like it could be done so much better. That's what I'm saying, it just belongs in the game. It just, it just belongs in the game in general. Look at this, I can break my own boat, go over to my chest boat, open that, put the stuff in the freaking chest and look it, we're on the move. We are on the move. This is the best Minecraft I've ever played. And now look, we're over here, same stuff. It's like an end of chest, but analog. It's like radio before the internet. But Minecraft's in the Stone Age. And when it comes to the hopper, you already know. We're making it rain on the hopper. Collecting every bit of it is what I'm talking about, baby. What are you doing in Minecraft? You're sleeping on this. Add this to your game already. This would make Minecraft so cool. They just need to add every mod ever to Minecraft. And then you know what? It's good. That is the best game ever. They're kind of going in that direction with data packs. So that's that's cool. I can't wait for the, the boat the hopper data pack. <laughs> Come on. Wait, did that collect it? It did! You don't even need to get it in the boat! Yo! And... I rest my case. This mod's great. Next mod. So this next mod is literally the only mod that refuses to play nice. It hates every other mod. I don't know why. But if you put it in a folder all by itself, as long as you have the fabric API, it should be fine. It works, but only alone. <laughs> I don't know. So this mod is great nonetheless. It's called Adorn, and it adds a bunch of decorative items that you can add to your Minecraft world. So as you can see, Adorn adds like sofas. You can have chairs, wooden chairs, kitchen cupboards, drawers, posts. I don't know, are these like fences? Nope, just a random post. You get the idea though. I mean, oh, oh, you can even sit down on the furniture. Oh, Adorn, you're getting bonus points. Pretty cool. And yes, you can put stuff. <laughs> I can put a chair in a drawer. You know what? Base don't matter. It's ma this mod is actually magic. <laughs> we put the sofa. Oh yes, we hold shift. We can put the sofa on top of it. There are no limits. <laughs> it's amazing. The world's first floating sofa in Minecraft. You ever seen that in Minecraft? Probably not. Pretty good. I like it. To really show off this mod, I built this cabin in the woods type thing. I don't really know what it is. I really like the open design. These pillars, you can use them in creative ways along with the other blocks in the mod. Like this counter, you can kind of works like a fence or a stair block. It kind of wraps with the other blocks around it, which is really cool. And you also have just miscellaneous things. Uh, this is a coffee table. This is a, an oak drawer and you can store items in it along with uh, this oak kitchen cupboard. Pretty good. And every wood type in the game is made. I think this is a uh, dark spruce wood, something like that. Spruce. I was right. <laughs> oh, they also have these really cool stone torches. I don't know why or how that this is possible, but I just think it looks really nice. They also have chimneys, which is just like, it's so cool. And you can also see your house from farther away because of this. Kind of sticks out. I like it. 
They also have these crates that have different like images on them, which is cool. This is crate of beetroots, but you can't actually go into it. I think if these were all like openable chests, even if they weren't as big as chests, it would still be, you know, kind of cool for organization purposes. But this is a really fun mod. I think it just adds a lot to interior decorating if you're into that thing. And would you look at that? When we go back into the other version without these mods, this thing looks pretty empty and disgusting and sad. So that's how much spice it added. This next mod is called Equips and it adds a bunch of armor sets to the game. Lapis armor, <laughs> redstone, coal. Why would you want to wear coal? I feel like you would just get it everywhere. <laughs> Plus you wouldn't want to hold a torch too close to that, to be honest. Emerald, I, I agree with that. That's pretty cool. Slime. Again, why would you wear that? Does it, it's not even bad. Six armor, that's pretty good. It's equally OP as the emerald. 0.1 attack damage. Is that a joke? 0.1 damage, come on, come on. But it also adds a bunch of cool weapons, um, which do various things. Very various. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I've only used one of them and it looked crazy. This one, we're saving that for last. I'm gonna start off with the bow because this looks crazy. What the heck is that? I thought that was something the weapon was doing, but no, that's just... Uh, scary minecraft all right let's try it out you barely have to wind up what happens if look at that it's like pretty good range it's just a good bow okay next knight sword wait actually let's try to hit somebody what the heck is this what mod is this from oh this is from the next mod all right whatever we're skipping ahead a little bit oh my god this thing is insane it just one tapped that poor cow i'm sorry i can't look yes victory all right what about the knight sword it's just a sword what is this a broken sword. Oh my god. What did that just do? Whoa. <laughs> he, he's getting very upset, but it's not doing enough damage. Oh, yes. Excalibur. I probably hyped this mod up, but they're just normal swords. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, this is not normal. I'll never lose sight of my enemy with this sword. Does it also make them float? Hopefully not kill him in one hit. Is that Dr. Evil? Come back here. We got two more left. The blood axe. Yeah, pretty good. And the uh, axe of darkness, which unfortunately... Is not as good as the blood infused axe. Try the blood infused axe on him. Huh. Yeah, better. Clearly the better weapon. But yeah, this bow is probably my favorite. Look how fast it is. So this next mod is terrifying. It's only for the brave of heart. It adds an entire new dimension to Minecraft. It's, I think, a Halloween mod. I'm not really sure. It's, it's pretty scary. But you get on the mods page, there is info on how to get these in survival. But the hollowed gate. You have to obtain it, surround it with redstone, and then get a hollow charm. I don't, I don't know where you get this stuff. I just want to show you this place. So you look at it, right click, you're in. Isn't it terrifying? There's these weird crows and they drop feathers and then there's that. Thanos Lake. What is this? Oh my God, it's killing me. Whoa, whoa, what? I'm in creative mode. Why is it hurting? <laughs> right, this mod adds a bunch of new stuff. Clubs, trumpet. Oh my God, trumpet? What? Okay, that's pretty good. I can get used to this place. Deadwood, an entire infusion altar. Yeah, they have it all. What is this, dude? Bleeding bedrock. That looks crazy. But yeah, adds in. What the heck? That scared me. What else is this place hiding? I have to know. Oh my, what? There's more than one biome. But unfortunately, the purple liquid does not stop. What is this? I think it's bone. Yes, bone blocks. Is there a skeleton around here? Is it caves? Oh. Hello. This is interesting to have right under where you walk. <laughs> There's clearly much mystery to solve. But if you're terrified and you want to leave, you can just hold down the... Ah! Ah! You can hold down the charm. Your nightmares are over. You can just throw it away. Never play with it again. Okay, so my number one mod for the mods that are working currently on Fabric for the new Minecraft is immersive portals this mod is the best and it needs to be added to real minecraft because it looks so cool so you can also in this mod make nether portals any shape that you want i think it has to be a square or a rectangle but it loads the nether and there is no wait time in between traveling there's no loading screen it is just the nether we can hop in and then we're there. Isn't that crazy? I did. I opened another one prior, but I guess it closed. You can just go on the other side of it, and that's the other side of the other portal. So cool. It's literally the coolest thing. I'm going to make half of my house in the nether. <laughs> it's so awesome. You can actually make nether portal unique to the structure of your already created base. You can have it lead into another half, a base in the nether. I don't know. That's freaking awesome. Look at that. That's that side of the house. Yes. <laughs> you see why this is my number one? This mod is amazing. I made half of my base in the nether just so I could see how it looks. And 
so weird. It's so crazy. Look at that. I messed up. But other than that, half of my base is now <laughs> in the nether. That was the last mod. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. I had a lot of fun going through these mods. I hope that there's many more. I know there will be. This gets me excited for the future. I'm really looking forward to the new data packs that come out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.